Hey everyone, Surreal Canon here. Welcome back for more Disguy 4 Promise Revisited. In the last episode, well, technically the last recording I did was, uh, was Item World Intermission 2, uh, in which I hunted down this baby, Legendary Accelerator. Now, I actually got this between uh, episodes. Also between episodes, that ticket I bought, uh, it, it led me to a common cross counter, which is just the rank 26 fist. So, nothing special. But, uh, earlier today, I ran into a scouter, which is the, uh, it's a mystery gate that looks like a Kusith. He sold me all of these, uh, all of these tickets that lead into the X Dimension, which is a very difficult post-game area. As you can uh, talk to Veronica here to go to them, but that is not what we are doing today. Today, we are continuing the search for more party members. Excitement wanted, say it with a heart. Let's check it out. Who do we have today? Oh, it's uh, it's main hero B from Axel's story in uh, in Disgaea 2. They were partners in absurd shenanigans. It's quite strange for an angel, yes. <laughs> I'm trying to be pretty quiet because it's Sunday and my mother is trying to take a nap in the living room. Oh, he became here to be a pretty instructor. That's nice. Oh right, he's a masochist. I forgot about you because this guy too happened a quite a while ago. You sure you don't want to be a printy? <laughs> <laughs> Valatoris just does not care. All right, Fenric, uh, go ahead and take him down. So, uh, yeah, Res Power, huh? Is it a healing attack, maybe? I can't tell. Hmm, res and int, you say. Interesting. He likes bows and stabs. Uh, aside from that, it looks like he's got the standard set of angel stats. Not that this matters, because we are not really going to be using him. Just have Fenric beat him up, shove him in the support group and be done with it, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. He learned about a fist to the face. Stay away from weirdos like him. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Ain't that a fact. Our party's punching bag. <laughs> Is that like the Netherworld version of a scapegoat? Is he gonna be Fall Guy number 10? Oh, hey, now I can make angels. Okay. Okay, so I guess we get angels by recruiting him. Makes sense. Moving on. Comrades, I think this is going to be Curtis. Oh, it's Prism Red. His friends keep leaving him, that's just so sad. <laughs> Fuka wants to be a magical girl. <laughs> a final boss magical girl. <laughs> That's great. That's really great. Okay, Valva Torres versus Prism Red. Oh hey, Battle of 8 Beat. Let's see, friends. 5% times the number of dispatched evil area allies. That's pretty cool. Ooh, interesting. Probably not worth the ability slot though. That is an absurdly high attack aptitude. Prism Red, you might just have a spot as... well, I don't know. Maybe. But yeah, not bad. Definitely uh, better than in Disgaea 3. I shall you. Soaring Nanako. My, uh, my team over in Soda Dungeon seems to be uh, running out of MP. Should probably start paying attention to that a little bit. We're all over the place. <laughs> they were kind of all over the place, but I mean, at least they are good friends with each other.
Fenric, shut up. You're just jealous. For him indeed. Prism Blue is available to create. Okay, I guess we can make Prism Rangers too. Not bad. Okay, next up. Most badass mascot. I wonder who this is going to be. Oh, it's plain air. Okay. She's the uh she's the mascot for one of the uh character artists on in the on the Disgaea team, I think. I forget who exactly. She's ready to fight. Alright, so anybody who's played the. Uh, well, I forget if she was in the PSP version or not, but uh, Disgaea 1 DS or on the PC, uh, Plain Air is pretty much the most broken character in the game. Because she's got absurdly high uh, hit and speed aptitudes. She's really great with a gun. That's all you really need to know about her. Just having her in the party uh, increases her increases allies' stats by 10%. That's not bad. got uh, some pretty crazy range on that one special skill. All in all, uh, it's... she's not a bad addition to the party, and if she's a uh, flying type like her sprite seems to be indicating, that's even better. Of course, I'll be going at, over everybody in detail during the uh, demo videos. Maybe a while before uh, we can actually do those, though. Fenric and his scheming.
You and Adele alike, buddy. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Okay, next up. We have... Ooh, is this Alexander? Oh, it's Gig. Okay. I haven't played Soul Nomad in the World Eaters yet. So I can't really tell you a lot about Gig, other than he's giving me some pretty bad vibes. Magic change type, Onyx Blade. So yeah, if you want a uh, if you want a sword type magic change partner, look no further than Gig. Look at that, double S power uh, magic change skill. So yeah, unfortunately. Uh, he threatened to destroy all the sardines, so we are going to have to give him the smackdown. Yeah, take that. Hot pods. <laughs> Desco is going to apprentice under gig. Uh, this is a little concerning. This broad. Is that any way to speak to a little girl gig? <laughs> okay, mm, twenty minutes. That's okay. All right, next character, the 
Next character is Delinquent Girls. Hmm. Oh, hey, it's uh, the... Kyoko and Asuka from Disguise 3. They're Raspberry's friends. Okay, Raspberry versus her friends. Kyoko likes fists, swords, and stabs. Evasion up 50% when next to Barrel. Interesting. She's got a... She's got skills that are a little different from your uh, usual Kunoichi. Asuka likes swords, spears, and bows. Attack increase 50% when next to barrel. So yeah, these three uh, go pretty well together, I suppose. Okay, and a little different from your usual shrine maiden. I'll show off one of uh, the skills while we're here. So, yeah, that's a thing. He likes them.
<laughs> every single one of these is gonna end with everybody making fun of Fenric. Flower Shadow. Okay, we can make Kunoichi now. Nice. Okay, this is gonna be our uh, our last encounter for today. Heroine of Justice. Wonder who this is gonna be. Oh, it's Nisa from a uh, Hyper Dimension Neptunia. She was a uh, Nippon Ichi's avatar in that game. Sadly, I don't think she shows up in the remakes. <laughs> Fists, swords, and guns. Nippon Ichi, stats increase 1% for every 10 hours of this Gaia 4 played. <laughs> Alright. I mean, she's decent enough. Actually, wait. She does have higher move than most units in this game, so that's something. <laughs> Somebody draw Fuka with cat ears on top of her hat. I think a lot of Fox's characters would like Nisa. <laughs> I still want Desco to be a bonus boss in some later game. All 
Alright, so, we learned a little bit about the uh, Nippon Ichi Extended Universe, which is always nice. But, join me next time when we uh, finish up all of the DLC recruiting, and then maybe we'll take on the uh, some of the extra story content. I hope to see you all next time on Disguise 4, Promise Revisited. Love you guys, see you all later.